My name is Commissioner Frank Avila. I'm a commissioner at the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District of Greater Chicago. And we, how many here in the audience here poop and pee? What? I, I don't know what you guys do. But what we do is that we protect our water supply in Lake Michigan. Uh, we uh, manage flooding. And also we treat your poop and pee. And since only one poop and pee here in this crowd, I don't know what the rest of you guys do. But the problem we have is that we do a very good job at the back end. We, we treat your poop and pee. We treat your personal care products when you get up in the morning. You, you wash yourself, you use shampoo, you put cosmetics, uh, lipstick. And what I call cosmetics, I call cosmetics toxic beauty. Because we all want to look beautiful and 95 or 99% of the products out there on cosmetics is toxic. And they want us to remove it from our plant, but it's already on you guys. You have all these toxic chemicals in your pores. And also I call lipstick the kiss of death because they still have lead in it, so that call is the kiss of death. Yeah. And anything that you buy on the personal care products, a lot of people go out in the store and they'll buy antibacterial soap. Well, in antibacterial soap, they have triclosan. When you combine that with chlorinated water, it becomes carcinogen. That's no good. We should ban it. And who's supposed to protect us in the government from all these ingredients? Uh, who have ever heard of the US EPA? <laughs> United States Environmental Protection Agency. They're supposed to protect the health and welfare of the public. But unfortunately, some of the top officials are political officials up there, and when the people below that are doing the excellent research that want the people to know, sometimes on the upper level, they do not want the public to hear about their research. So we have to do something with the US EPA, which we need US EPA, but we should not make it a political agency. Yeah. We, we should have them do their job and inform the public how to protect the health because that's what the US EPA is, the United States Protected Agency. Yeah. We have atrazine. How many here heard of atrazine? Atrazine is a pesticide. Uh, last week or a week and a half ago, the, the World Health Organization came out with a, a report on climate a uh, glyphosate. I, I don't know if you ever heard that word. Yes. That is in pesticide. And they said that's it's a probable cause of cancer and we should not use it. But now spring is coming and everyone that has a lawn is going to go to the store and buy weed killer. And, and the weed killer that they buy, they have uh, glyphosate in that weed killer and that weed killer, they're going to have more of that weed killer in their home than on their land because their kids are going to go on the grass, the dog's going to go on the lawn, they're going to go on the lawn, it's going to get on the bottom of the feet, and they're going to have it in their home. And then we're saying, well, you know what? Why aren't our kids learning in school? Well, the reason why our kids are learning, not learning in school is because they're born with adult diseases already. The mother has their in the umbilical cord due to all the personal care products that they buy, the food that they buy. I will recommend everyone out there to buy food that's organic or not have any pesticides that grow with pesticides. That would be my recommendation that they want to stay healthy because they're talking about they need more money for schools, they need more classrooms because the kids that they're having in their classroom have learning disability. Well, why do they have learning disability? They have learning disability because they're born with adult diseases. So they want us to treat it at the back end. They, they want us to remove all the chemicals at the back end, but unfortunately, it's at the front end already. It's fortunately that it's in, in the kids already, it's in the adults, it's in the dogs, and, and, and so, so, so I, I go out there and talk on prevention. And, and, and I think that the US EPA should ban antrazine, because it's banned in Europe. They should ban that uh, ingredient that's in the weed killer, because it could cause cancer. They have to ban a lot. They have to ban a lot of products that banned in Europe, but it's not banned here because they want us. When it comes into our plant, they want us to move everything. We have seven plants here in Cook County. Three are the largest in North America. One is in the largest in the world. We treat every day 550 tons of treated poop every day. Imagine that every day. But 
but the front. So we, we treat it at the back end, but nothing is treated at the front end. And, and so I go out there and we have to talk about prevention. We have to educate our kids. We have to educate the adults that what personal care products they buy, they should read labeling. There's a bill going on at Springfield now on labeling. We should put every ingredient that someone buys on a product labeled. We should label it and they should pass that bill that put everything on there, but you got two sides. You got the bad guy, you know, you ever heard the good, bad, and the ugly? Well, the good is we should put all the ingredients on the label. The bad and the ugly, we should not listen to those guys. So, and, 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 and also, I just got back from a conference in California. And, and they showed how these pesticides are changing frogs. Now, frogs is closely related to human beings. And, and they're doing the tests on them. And, and they found out that the frogs, are when they're born, are being deformed. So if the frogs are being deformed and we buy the product, what do you think is going to happen to the mother in, in, their, in their body when, when the babies are, are being formed? It's going to affect the babies also there. And, and, and so, so I, I, I would recommend that freedom of speech, that this is America, that we should go out and speak and not be afraid to speak because they were saying that some scientists, research people, and US EPA are afraid to speak up because why? They have to earn a living. They have to support a family. And and these good scientists and, and, and these agencies should not be afraid to speak. Freedom of speech, we should not be afraid to speak. And also, we're, we're talking about different bills. Everyone has a right to run for office. You guys should go out and start running for office or support people that support how to save the planet. Today we're, we're, today is what, Earth Day? And, and it was started, how long ago was it started, guys? Huh? 45 years. 45 years. And it has changed. No, the sort of good, but in some cases it hasn't changed. Some cases it got worse. There. And, and so the planet, we need what? We need food. Where do we get our food from? The soil. The soil is not dirt. We have to consider soil as taking care of us to live. We need water. We need drinking water because the good Lord made our body 67% of water, so we need good water. And also, what else we need? We need air. We need air to live, so we have to protect our planet. And who's going to protect our planet, guys? Our kids. Our kids are going to protect our planet. And how will they protect our planet? We have to educate them. We have to make sure they're healthy so when they grow up, They'll take, care of, uh, uh, they'll take care of the planet. So the kids who save the planet, these are the ones who are going to save the planet. And we have to e educate them in school. We have to educate the teachers, to e educate the kids, so the kids can go home and educate the parents. Or the parents will educate the kids, so the kids can educate the teachers. No matter how which way it goes, we have to save the planet. And also, there, there's a big discussion now about education that in the classroom, our kids are not learning. We need smaller kids, we need more buildings. Well, part of the reason, and this is my opinion, part of the reason why the kids are learning, are not learning, is because they're being born with adult diseases. Heart, diabetic, uh, autism, anything that you can see that an adult has, the kids have it already. So we have to go out there and make sure that are, that our kids are, are healthy because they're the ones that are going to save the planet. You have any questions out here? Uh, uh, and, and also, what, what I have here, I'm going to pass out treated poop. As I mentioned, this is treated poop. It's good fertilizer. Every day we get 550 tons of treated poop and we give it to the farmers. The farmers like our treated, your treated poop because they yield more per acre. Listen to this, guys. They say that they have to have GMO crops, right? And the reason why they said they have to have GMO crops for what? To, so they can yield more crops to feed the people, right? But where is all these crops going to? Is it going to human beings? No. The majority of the GMO crops are not feeding the people. They're feeding livestock.
right. mentioned that there only a small sliver of the GMO crops is going for human consumption. The bigger portion is going for livestock. So, so really, we don't need GMO. Just think of it now. Some of the seeds have pesticides in them, guys. You believe that? And, and some pesticide companies know that their product is cancerous, so now there's this one company that buys a health uh, 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 a product uh, that sells pills to make you healthy. And yet, on the other side, they have pesticides that make you sick. They're making money on both ends now, guys. This is what, what, what's happening. So, And then also, I'm going to pass out some free uh, treated poop. This is excellent on your plant, guys. Uh, any questions? Is that my poop? Oh, it could be. It could be your poop. <laughs>